Hello everyone and welcome back to the Transformers channel. I hope you're having a good time working on LP. So last time yeah, we talked about getting similarities in tokens. Our similarities in tokens using body buildings that we obtained from Spacey. And we also later <coughs> used the cosine similarity to get the relation between those tokens. But here as the channel is more focused on the Transformers we would dive into the mighty bird for this so for that we would require either the pytorch library or the tensorflow i chose pytorch here because of yeah i am comfortable with it and to get ahead with the bird we would require the transformers library because we want to utilize the pre-trained models here in a simple way yeah so let's go ahead and import this tree and uh, and we would choose the bird base uncased model which is the yeah it's pretty clear by the name uncased model and it's for the english language but you have you but you can choose any other models if you don't know from where you can go to the yeah hugging face co and slash models you have a pretty large list from what you can choose it let's get ahead and instantiate those Yeah, during that, until that happens, okay, that that's done. So, the sentence that I choose here are two different, with a very different context. So, the first sentence says, the black, sat, the black cat sat on the cows and the brown dog slept on the rug. We have two different colors here. They are similar, so they are of the same context, color. So, the relation should increase as the layer also increases. If we look in the second sentence, I went to the money bank, which is located near the river bank. The word bank here seems the same, but it has two different meanings. And it also shows the polysemy behavior. Okay, I won't go inside what the polysemy behavior is. But simply, if you understand, if a word has one or more meanings, yeah, it's, it demonstrates the polysemy behavior. Okay, let's get ahead and work on the first sentence first. Yep. And uh, we want to extract the tokens. So we will do tokenize of the tokenize and send the text. We also want the IDs because the model won't be able to recognize the string format. We wanted to give it an ID form. And lastly, we want to compare it to the tensor form. Why? Because we are using PyTorch, PyTorch, simply. Great, now we have that. And to move past or to get all the output that we need, we would set this model in the evaluation mode. So we would call model.eval. Why eval? Because we are not training it from scratch. That's the beauty of pre trained models. So the, this pre trained model, they already have some trained word embeddings and now we just want to extract or utilize the embeddings that is already there okay so to get the word embeddings and then the similarity i created a small function where there's a list that stores the similarities from all those 12 layers once the operation has been completed I call the model model with the tensor that we created before and let me just show you a okay what do we get here perfect we have a bit pretty large output the first one is always the embeddings from the final layer that is the 12th layer we are not much interested into the polar output now and the third index or the hidden states the results that is that are stored in the hidden states are all the embeddings from the layer first to the layer 12 so if you count 1 2 3 4 yeah 10 11 12 13 
last one is the already the final one so in this way what we would do is we would get the third output or that is in the second index let me simply restore the thing that I removed so I would create a loop so yeah that goes from the layer first to the layer twelfth and as I said before I would want the embeddings that are all present in the second index of the output and this i represents one two three four that, that represents the layer so first layer second layer third layer and go on it goes on until it reaches the 12th okay and yeah we keep it in a separate variable yeah and the thing to note here is these two indexes they are different why different because this represents the index where the token black is present if we see here black is in index 1 and brown is in index 9 after we have received the tokens okay if you okay let me just show it okay yeah. we have a pretty huge token so if we look at the shape What would be the shape? 768. So 768 is the dimension of the birth model. Okay, that you can all explore once you get into the work. Now, as we have the embeddings from both of the words, I would go ahead and uh, get the cosine similarity between those two, and it goes on for all layers bingo we have it and yeah, these are all numbers so let's get ahead and uh, hmm, create a interesting plot just to see the behavior in a visual way so go ahead and import the map plot lib yeah, i'll create a figure access yeah, these are all simple. I will create the title, x layer, the label for the x axis, label for the y axis, and what I want to plot. So, for the x axis, I would say so the layer from the 1 to 10, 1 to 12, sorry, and all the values that goes on the y axis that we got previously. We see how the model learns from its context as the layer gradually increases. That's kind of impressive, right? Now, now it's time for another scenario where we use one word which could have different meanings as I told you earlier. So let's go back and comment this and enable this. Yeah. So bam and uh, we enable this and we repeat all those things that we did in and finally but in this part we have to change the index here so okay the variable doesn't make much sense but i would keep it in the same for you for now mm. the first bank is on view one two three four five fifth index and the second word bank is on the six seven eight nine ten nine twelfth index so we get the token index and we pass it into the output that the model gives us and we extract the embeddings respectively and now we have a different number and a different behavior Let's go ahead and see it in plot. Hmm. Interesting. So, as this two behavior seems quite interesting for me, what happens is, as the model starts learning, it identifies the words are different. 
but finally when it goes it neutralizes the re relation so it doesn't say that they are more relatable or they are more different for me it would be quite interesting if the model would not learn more from this point if the similarity would not have been increased from here it, this this could also be because yeah this could be even better if i if i had chosen more larger model and also could be not so this is a question for you guys if you can help me clear this out here okay saying that i hope you have a little bit of overview on the body bedings in bird models there are plenty of models available as i showed you earlier okay i want to keep only this much for this time we'll come again with another video related to transformers next so please do subscribe comment if you have any questions happy and open